Ever since our dance with Darth Angrel, I felt different. Good different. No more Emperor in my head. Sick creep was dragging me down, holding me back. Being free from that? Nifty. What the Emperor did to you was wrong. And he'll never do it again. All that time he stole. Years I could have been... me. Sad thing is, there's plenty more people out there still under the Emperor's thumb. The Emperor won't be enslaving anyone for much longer. That's a promise. I'll give you this. You're consistently on task. We've still got a galaxy to save. Let's get back to it. You wanted to talk? I trust you, T7. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad. Don't worry about it, little fella. I thought you had some dark, terrible secret. <laughs> Shafu may have been a slaver, but he changed his ways. At his heart, he was a decent person. Master Zalo saw that, and so did you. Know what gets me? Wasting all our time blowing up bad guys. Imagine how much better the galaxy would be if we focused on helping the needy, not fighting Sith. I wouldn't mind a nice, long vacation with someone special. Noted. But after that? It's time Jedi got political. Letting senators run the Republic? Not working out. We get the big picture, have the power to make things better. We should have control. Tell me I'm wrong. There's a good reason Jedi stay out of politics. We can't afford to compromise our ideals. What if the Republic's how it is because the Jedi won't take charge? What if a little compromise is exactly what's needed? No point running for office until the war's over. Let's go win it already. The Force is with you. Now, and always. Master Orgus? His power is growing. Only you can stop him. You must go to Tatooine. Stop who? Why Tatooine? A starship crashed in a desert canyon. Use the Force. Find it. Who were you talking to? The holocom's not even on. This is crazy, but... Master Orgus was standing right there. He spoke to me. He's not alive like that, T7. Master Quix once told me powerful Jedi can live on through the Force after they die. Not a social call, then. What did Master Orgus say to you? There's a crashed starship in a canyon on Tatooine. I can almost see it in my head. Then hold that thought. Next stop, Tatooine.
I know your face. The one who defeated Darth Angrel, the hero of Tython. That's, a uh, heroes of Tython. I fought Darth Angrel, too. My mission was a secret. No one knew where I was. How did you find me? The spirit of my dead master, Orgas Din, sent me here. He said you needed help. Thank the Force. And your master. I thought I was dead. Under the circumstances, I think we had better contact my superiors. It almost repaired my hollow before the Sith ambushed me. Jomar! Where are you? Masters, I completed my mission, but Sith assassins shot down my vessel over Tatooine. The spirit of Master Orgus Din sent my rescuer. I believe you know him. The Force wants our mission to succeed, Master Satya. This is proof. I knew he was the nexus of our fates, but events are transpiring faster than I foresaw. We never get a break, but you can always count on me. Jomar, a medical shuttle is en route. Before it arrives, give your rescue at the sensor logs you recorded. Bring us those logs immediately. We'll explain everything when you're on Typhon. This burden is now yours. Guard it with your life. Go. Hurry. What's so important about these sensor logs? I've seen the Empire's home system. Those logs reveal our enemy's defenses. We'll meet again on Typhon. May the Force be with you. This is a nice ship. Shame we don't spend more time here. Always up to our neck in bad guys, finding new ones to beat up. Fun, but not relaxing. Until the Sith have been defeated, there isn't time for much else. Listen up, you're already a shoe in for Jedi of the Year. You know what they say about all work and no play. We could use a hobby or something. I can't recommend any hobbies, but I could help you with an... or something. About time. Starting to think that kiss was a fluke. Glad we finally got that out of the way. Whoever set all the funds in the anticipation was just lazy. Speak for yourself. I'm already anticipating next time. Down, boy. Be mindful of attachments. Now we have reason to come back to the ship more often. Convenient. I brought the sensor logs, Master Satil. I'm sure you have many questions. Master Tol Braga will answer them. It's good to finally meet you in person. They say you're the greatest Jedi the Order has seen in generations. I believe the Force has guided you to me. Together, we'll defeat the Empire. Restoring peace to the galaxy is the reason I became a Jedi. I'm organizing a top-secret strike team of our best and brightest, Jedi who don't know the meaning of failure. Twice. You've saved the Jedi Order from destruction. Bengal Moore and Darth Angle were formidable opponents. Now I ask you to confront the ultimate evil and help me capture the Sith Emperor. You don't dream small, do you, Master? There's an ancient fortress orbiting the Imperial homeworld, Droman Kaas. It's hidden by a powerful cloaking device. The Emperor rules his people from this cloaked fortress. Not even the highest-ranking Sith can find him. But we're going to locate that fortress, get inside it, and seize the Emperor. If there's a way to achieve these goals, we must find it. We've already made great strides toward our objective. The man you saved on Tatooine scouted the Drummond Cast system. His sensor logs will help us plan this assault. We'll plot a hyperspace route through the Imperial Navy's defenses. Slip right past them. Other members of my strike team are uncovering ways to pierce the cloaking device and defeat the security around the Emperor's fortress. I could use your expertise on Dalmora. The Empire and Republic are at war there, and the fighting has endangered our mission. My ship's ready for departure. Tell your people, I'm on my way. We've placed great responsibility on you, but I know you won't fail us. Contact your fellow strike team member, Warren Sedora, when you reach Balmora. He'll explain the mission. We're going to save the galaxy. May the Force be with us.
Master Braga told me you were coming. Warren Sidoru, a pleasure. I'm grateful for your assistance. The situation is growing desperate. The Republic picked an unfortunate time to drive the Empire off Balmora. It's made our team's mission that much harder. Every world we take from the Empire brings us one step closer to victory. True, but I hope to achieve our goal with minimal violence. That's hard to do in a war zone. Balmora is home to the largest weapon manufacturing plants in the galaxy. Half the munitions used in the last war originated on this world. The Empire develops horrific new instruments of destruction here. Balmora's creations have killed countless innocents. All that terrible power in the hands of the Sith. We can't let them keep it. I appreciate the sentiment, but be mindful of our mission. We're here for one particular item. We've learned the Empire has a cloaking device prototype at one of Balmora's advanced weapon factories. It's the same technology hiding the Emperor's fortress. If we obtain that cloaking device prototype, we can understand how it works, develop a way to see through it. Expose his hidden fortress, and the Emperor becomes vulnerable. Finding the cloaking device prototype is almost impossible thanks to the invasion. We need experienced native guides to sort through the chaos. Balmora has a well-established civilian resistance. Their spy network's knowledge of the Empire would be invaluable. Sounds like we'll need the resistance if we're going to find the cloaking device. Unfortunately, the resistance doesn't trust the Republic. Despite my best negotiations, they remain uncooperative. Can't say I blame them. The Empire's driven us off this planet twice already, leaving the resistance holding the bag. Republic Command just intercepted a distress call. A resistance medical facility is about to be overrun. I'd go, but an Imperial armor column's in my way. I need you to save that medical facility. I'll break that siege. Where am I going? I'm sending the medical facility's location. I don't know what you'll be facing there, but do whatever you must to save the Resistance fighters. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. May the Force be with you. Lightsaber junk! Jedi bought us some time. Get our wounded to the secure area. Move it! I'm the chief medic. Just call me Doc. You and your gorgeous friend cleared a nice path, but we can't leave. Got a whole nest of colicoids massing to attack. Take cover. This is about to get ugly. It's been ugly for a while. Just keeps getting uglier. I've got dozens of wounded here. Hope you're not one of those junior Jedi. Do we have to save him too? I'll head for the secure area and stabilize casualties. Here they come! Hey, look at that. We are alive. Nice work. A lot of wounded here. You're the only doctor? Honey, I do the work of ten medics. And that's on a bad day. I don't know what genius picked a colicoid breeding ground for our medical facility. But we need to evacuate quick. Problem is, my critical patients are too fragile to move. And the Empire stole my trauma kits. I won't let the Empire endanger your people's lives. How can I get what you need? Our scouts say the Imperials sent my trauma kits to their frontline troops on the plains nearby. The depots will be heavily guarded, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. Just hurry. These people don't have much time.
got as many trauma kits as I could find. The Imperials won't miss them. Our boys shoot to kill. Apologies for being late. My detour around those Imperial forces took longer than expected. I was worried. Glad you're here. You've done well saving this facility and its patients. The Resistance has already agreed to help us find the cloaking device prototype. This super advanced gadget you're after? The Resistance can narrow down its location, but we need access to the enemy's computer network. The only connection point is at Sobrik, which is covered in Imperial forces. Troop legions, walkers, heavy bombers. Fun place. I'll find a way in there if I have to take on the whole Imperial army. A frontal assault. Suicide? Places covered in ray shields. I believe we can diminish the Imperial forces without firing a shot. The Empire has several comm relays around Sobrik tied to other Imperial strongholds. An early warning system. Great. When we attack, they can summon more troops to kill us. Or we make the Imperials think we're attacking their other strongholds. We'll infiltrate those comm relays, upload fake alerts, and siphon away Sobrik's defenders, leaving it vulnerable. I doubt the Empire leaves its comm relays unguarded. The comm relays are protected by advanced Imperial war droids. Very fast, extremely deadly. I'm no longer quick enough to defeat those war droids. But you are. Then the Resistance can raid the Empire's computer network. We'll figure out where they've stashed that whatchama thingy at you want. Use this data pad on the comm relays to upload the fake emergency signals. I'll find a good vantage spot to watch Sobrik and keep you informed of our progress. Be careful out there. <laughs> as I hoped. The Empire mobilized an entire armored battalion. Keep up the good work, my friend. The Imperials are exceeding my expectations. Sobrik's forces have been cut by almost two-thirds. Keep up the pressure. Perfect. Sobek's defenses have been reduced to the bare minimum. The resistance team is heading in. I think it's best if you follow and keep an eye on them. Too much is riding on this mission. I'll make sure our allies come back alive. The Resistance team identified a vehicle depot as their best access point to the Imperial computer system. Transmitting the grid coordinates now. I'll continue monitoring Sobrik. If I see trouble, I'll alert you immediately. Keep our new friends safe. Over and out. Have you accessed the Imperial network? Already downloaded everything. We were leaving when the Imperial medical transport landed for refueling. Avers and his men opened fire. Belmurn scum! Murderers! My men are dying. We'll never reach the med center now. You just made my season, imp. Bet you've got some choice gear on that transport. Greedy vermin! These soldiers were defending Balmora! There's a doctor here. He could keep your men alive. You just love irony, don't you? Do you read? Colocoid nests stirred up by fighting. Waves of them headed for Sobrik's outskirts. Leave now, or you'll be surrounded. Colicoids? They'll rip us apart! Every man for himself! Move! We can't flee! Those beasts will kill us! I don't abandon wounded men, even Imperials. Then again, being eaten wasn't on my agenda for today. I can save these soldiers if someone keeps the colicoids off me. You work your medical magic. I'll take on the colicoids. May the force be with us.
If we die, at least it'll be heroic. But we're not gonna die, right? You hear that? They're here! <laughs> my relaxing vacation list. I've done some crazy things, but this beats them all. That was heroic. These men owe you their lives. So do I. Surrender to the Republic Army. Help us end this war. We'll surrender to the Republic Army. We'll help you end this war. Just when I thought this couldn't get any crazier. Leaving here would be a lot easier if there was another transport. Actually, I did see a speeder bike outside. Only seats one. Hmm. I'll find my own way out, Doc. The speeder bike is yours. Thanks. Your pal. Your friend warns at these coordinates. I'll meet you there. Good luck. I hear you two had quite an adventure in Sobrik. I'm impressed by your commitment to saving lives. Convincing an Imperial to surrender on his home turf. That's one for the Archives. We make a pretty great team. We should do this more often. Our mission isn't over. What's the next step? This is Nicolan Cord, one of the top resistance leaders. He analyzed the data we obtained from Sobrik, found us a lead. One of our spies was captured weeks ago, attempting to steal what might be the Empire's cloaking device project. The data revealed where she's being held. Sounds like someone we should talk to. How do we free her? We believe she's inside an Imperial tactical operations base. Heavily fortified, protected by a regiment of troops. That's where I come in. Colonel Finley commands the Republic's 5th Expeditionary Force. He's agreed to assist our operation. Trouble is, if that tech op space crew sees my troops marching in, they'll close the blast shields. Those shut, there's no getting them open. My weapon can cut through anything, even a blast shield. No time. If the enemy summons reinforcements while we're stuck outside, we'd be trapped. One of you Jedi could slip inside. Disable the blast shields before they close, then the base would be ours. We'd have to distract that Imperial Regiment, create an opening. My troops provide quite a distraction. The Resistance must be part of this. Our spy won't talk if I'm not there. I'll escort the Resistance. That leaves you to penetrate the base and deactivate those blast shields ahead of our arrival. Get your forces ready, Colonel. We leave immediately. I can guarantee an enthusiastic response. I'll prepare my forces to move out. That resistance leader. Let's keep an eye on him. His spy is the key to our victory, and he knows it. Get inside the Empire's base and deactivate those blast shields. We'll be waiting for your signal. Bad news, my friend. The Empire just landed heavy war droids in the region. Hunter killers. The droids are patrolling the territory between you and the objective. If they detect you heading for that Imperial base, they'll raise an alert. Risk the base's blast shields closing before you get there. You'll have to disable those war droids quickly. Scrapped Imperial war droids? Coming right up. I'm sending the latest reconnaissance data on the war droids' positions. Eliminate them and continue on to the Imperial base. Never a dull moment. We should visit war zones more often. There, you have the data. Be careful. Over and out. <laughs>
Warren, I've disabled the base's blast shields. It's wide open for you. We're almost there. The Colonel Finley detects a reactor surge coming from the base. Looks like the base commander initiated a self-destruct sequence. You don't have much time to stop it. Shut down all the security consoles in there as fast as you can. Hurry! Self-destruct aborted. The base is ours, Warren. Send in the troops. Doc, what are you doing here? I'm busting you out, sweetheart. Where else would I be? Why didn't you mention knowing her back at the briefing? Between all you military types? I couldn't get a word in edgewise. We thought we'd lost you, Metal. She's healthy as ever. Life signs green across the board. Where are the other prisoners? The Empire executed them. I was next. You came just in time. We're glad you're safe. Please, tell us what you discovered about the Empire's cloaking device project. Imperial scientists left Balmora with the prototype when the Republic invaded. It's long gone. Metal, I sense great conflict within you. I know you're lying. What are you afraid of? Wait just a minute. She's one of us. Warren wouldn't accuse her of lying unless he was certain. The truth will come out. Wouldn't you rather be the one who reveals it? When Nicolin hears the truth, he'll want to kill me. Promise you'll stop him. No one will hurt you. Tell us everything. Take it easy. Whatever this is, we'll work it out. The Empire offered me a deal. Cooperate or die slowly. I told them everything about the Resistance. Names, locations, plans. I knew it. The Empire has been slaughtering our people using your information! Give them something they can use. Tell them about the cloaking device. The Empire is studying it at the Balmoran Arms Factory. It's there, I promise. Why did you lie before? Why not tell us where to go? I was afraid if you went there, you'd find out what I'd done. You know the price of betrayal. Wait, she has enemy intelligence. She could be an asset. Colonel Finley needs information on the Empire. You work for him now. I'm sorry, Nicholas. I had no choice. Metal was ours to punish. The Resistance will not forget this insult. 
Neither will I. Thanks for saving her. I owe you. The Balmoran Arms Factory is the Empire's biggest stronghold. Assaulting this base was one thing, but taking on that fortress... I know that place inside out. Need a shortcut through that Rancor's den? Well, I'm your man. Welcome to the team, Doc. I'll try not to get you killed. Hey, if the Imperials attack with grenades, you can throw Doc on them. Colonel Finley and I will coordinate a full offensive against the Empire. We'll clear you a path to the Balmoran Arms Factory. The rest is up to you. Get that cloaking device prototype at all costs. May the Force be with us. Turbo lift's locked down, but don't worry. Slicing Imperial security codes is a hobby of mine. Give me two secs. Uh-oh. Someone's coming down the turbo lift. Get ready for a fight. Doc, I thought the Amps had killed you. You too, Remy? How you making out, old fella? Same as always. Pretend to cooperate with the Imperials, and stab them in the back every chance I get. We are here to defeat the Empire. Can you get us into the upper levels? Sure. The Imps put me on waste management. Gave me a data card to get in there. It's all yours. Thing is, there's guards every two meters in there. That's why I travel with a Jedi, Remy. Sorry to cut this reunion short. We have a long fight ahead. And I finally have a way out of this place. See you on the other side, Doc. Hello. Are you there? It's Colonel Finley. We have a new problem. The Resistance has learned of Imperial research into weapons that use cloaking device technology. If the enemy can hide their missiles and bombs from detection, imagine the carnage. The Empire would rip us apart. You must recover all the Empire's research data on this project and deliver it to us. There's bound to be a computer hub up there somewhere. This may be our only opportunity. Do everything you can. Finley out. I found the files about the Empire's stealth weapon research, but something's wrong. They're starting to erase themselves. I use TurboLift data cards all the time when I was here. They work with computers, too. Maybe we can transfer the files onto the data card Remy gave us. Copy them before they get deleted. What do you know? It worked. Not bad, huh? That was fast thinking. Well done. Fast thinking is my middle name. <laughs> You suppose the Empire knows we're here? Almost done here. Nicolin, what are you doing? The cloaking device prototype belongs to the people of Balmora, not the Republic. This is our world, our war, and our victory. The Empire was on the verge of wiping out the Resistance before we got here. We spent decades fighting for this planet after the Republic rolled over for the Empire. Now you're back to loot our resources? This prototype may be the most valuable technology on Balmora. You're not taking it. Aren't the Jedi all about justice? If that's true, let us leave with what's rightfully ours. 
The Jedi will return this technology once we're done with it. Please hand it over. The Jedi will return this once they're done with it. Hand it over, Avers. I'd offer you transportation, but I'm afraid the shuttle only seats two. Good luck. Now that's smooth talking. One thing's for sure. I'm not working for the Resistance anymore. Got a spare bunk on your ship for a superb combat medic? My mission is dangerous. You sure you want to get involved? Danger doesn't scare me. And involved is my middle name. Warren, I have the cloaking device prototype. After the blood that's been spilled today, that's a ray of hope. I'm returning to the Republic base where you first landed. Meet me there. I have the cloaking device prototype and the Empire's weapon research data. We've denied the enemy a considerable technological edge and broken its hold on Balmora. I'll send the research data to Coruscant. There's a Dr. Godera waiting to review it. Friend of yours, I understand? Please give the doctor my regards. I will. It's been a pleasure working with you. Somehow I expected such an important device to be more impressive. I'll deliver this to Master Braga and the Council on Tython. Master Braga's faith in you is well placed. I'm honored to serve with you. The feeling is mutual. Be well, my friend. You should contact Master Braga when you return to your ship. He's eager to hear from you. Farewell. You wanted to see me? Just stick with it. You'll figure it out. What was your mission? The Geno Harridan are the galaxy's deadliest assassins. How could the SIS expect you to stop one of their agents? Well, the Ambassador may have resigned, but you saved his life. You're a hero, T7. Looks like old Doc got here just in time. How have you survived with a droid and Little Miss Uptight as your only friends? T7's as loyal as they come. And you should address my fellow Jedi by her name. Right. What's her name? Shnira? Kanoya? Yeah, never mind. Before I settle in, a few things. First, I like my quarters kept at least five degrees warmer than the rest of the ship. I only eat energy pudding, so stock up on that. Uh, also, give me 30 minutes in the refresher every morning. That's all. Are you sure there isn't more? I could have T7 clean your laundry or read you bedtime stories. Laundry service? Done. And have the girl turn down my bed every night. Never seen a ship's med bay right next to the engine compartment before. Not exactly convenient. I've done better with worse. Until I have everything online, stay in one piece. Doctor's orders. Master Braga, the mission to Balmora was a success. We have the cloaking device prototype. Outstanding. I never doubted you for a moment. How did you find working with my old friend Warren? I've always been impressed by his keen insights. Warren has a talent for finding the truth. Those gifts are vital to achieving our ultimate goal. You've brought us a great leap closer to finding the Emperor. But there's a new problem. I've lost contact with my Padawan under unusual and dangerous circumstances. You're uniquely qualified to deal with this. I'll do everything I can, Master. Tell me the situation. Sajar is no ordinary Padawan. He was once a Sith Lord, a member of the Empire's Dark Council. We dueled on Dantooine. Fought for three days. I won when I convinced him to abandon the Dark Side and train as a Jedi. You turned a Dark Council member to the Jedi? Incredible. Your own victories are no less impressive. Bengal Moore and former Lord Craven now serve the light side because of you. 
Sajar has fully embraced the Jedi way. Whatever has happened, it isn't his fault. He was guarding a Republic base on the planet Quish when the Empire invaded and attacked our territories. You trusted Sajar to guard a Republic base in a war zone? When I sent him, Quesh was peaceful, quiet, a good place for meditation while also serving the Republic. I just spoke with a soldier at Sajar's base. It's surrounded by Imperial forces and my Padawan refuses to act. Without Jedi help, that base will fall. My Padawan won't answer his holo. Sounds like he's afraid of something, but what? Only a strong Jedi can help Sajar and save the base. I'm transmitting the planet's coordinates now. Master Bagger, out. Go. He needs you. And you need him. You haven't led me astray yet, Master Orgus. Uh... You alright? The hollow transmission's over. It's a Jedi thing. None of your business. This sounds urgent. We should go to Quesh right away. Need a timeout. Got something on Narshadaw that can't wait. Some old friends are in a tight spot. Promised I'd help. Simple delivery. Done in a jiff. You've never mentioned having friends. I was popular before I joined the Jedi. Now I'm really popular. Narshada has lots of refugees. And the huts? Not known for their charity. People are starving. My friends don't need anything fancy, just med packs and nutrient paste. Stuff I can easily provide. If we do this... I'll ask these friends for stories about your misspent youth. I'll have them make up some good ones. Get me to my friends and I'll handle the rest. Hira, you're here. And bearing gifts. How's everyone holding up? Better now. Can't believe it's really you. A Jedi? You're so different. Kira's more than a Jedi. She's a hero. You must be Kira's master. It's an honor. I still remember that little girl. Bundling up in extra layers of clothing. Trying to look bigger and tougher than she was. Hey, it worked. Add enough layers and nobody knows who you are. You were protecting yourself. From what? Refugees become victims real easy, but not me. Enoch, distribute the food and medicine. Our people have waited long enough. Go now. This famine... your fault. Our people suffer because of the slaughter you committed in our name. The Arkasaks. Who is this man? What's he talking about? Name's Darshin. Been the leader here forever. We have differences. Urkasags were bad news. Made us their personal entertainment. Robbed, killed, and worse. For fun. I paid the gang a private visit. Asked them nicely to back off. Things got ugly. Gangsters died. You butchered the Urkasags. Made a public spectacle of their deaths and spread terror in our name. Everyone fears us. You say Kira is responsible for the food and medicine shortage. Why? Our reputation frightens away those who could help us. Yet desperate people continue to seek refuge here. We can't provide for everyone. I'll get more supplies to you. I protect my people. No. Inak was wrong to bring you back here. Your presence does more harm than good. Let the refugees take care of themselves, Kira. It's for the best. We must find a way to survive without the threat of violence protecting us. You win, Darshin. You won't see me again. Everyone so excited you're here, Kira. They want to say thanks. Can you stay a while? There's a war on, Enak. Don't know when I'll be back. Take care of yourself, alright? So far, so good. And now that we're a team, 
figure it's only a matter of time before the whole galaxy gets saved. Prepare yourself for fortune and glory, pal. You'll be up to your chin in beautiful women when this war is over. I don't do this for fame or wealth. Jedi are above those petty concerns. Petty? You only say that because you don't know what you're missing. My old doc's no stranger to the fame game. Cure a plague-ridden planet or two, and people get grateful enough to give you anything. It's wrong to take advantage of such generosity. Good deeds are their own reward. <laughs> oh, you're serious. Yes, sir. As soon as this galaxy's saved, you've got a lot to look forward to. I'll be there to see you through it all, buddy. Welcome to Quesh. Haven't seen that many Jedi in this sector. You here for the war effort? Wasta me, Magi, Tahus Hagwa Upa. Chisa Kava, Kyotopa Bubanda Bakawanki. Any other relevant information about this place? Da Biska. Kuka Pame. Wata Botenya Nucha Nubota. Nira de Saslimo. Crispa doe Kanki. Kunke Gupa. The Empire found out about our mining operations here and filled the planet with troops and battle droids. I imagine that waging war on a planet with toxic air doesn't work out well. The air's not as bad as the terrain. Quesh is all swamp. Hard on machinery, harder on soldiers. Well, you're clear to travel the planet's surface. Just say the word. I'm ready to have a look at this poison planet. Speak to General Corvan when you land. He'll brief you on the current situation. Good luck. The Master sent you, didn't he? Of course. My shame is complete. This war... I wasn't ready. I never should have left Tython. I'm here to help. Tell me what's wrong. When the Empire first invaded, soldiers here captured some Imperial scouts. Brought them to me for interrogation. The prisoners... angered me. I killed them. Lied about what happened. When Imperial forces arrived outside, I hurled the corpses at them. Revealed my true face. Master Braga told me about your past. He said you embraced the light side. I thought I'd changed. I want to. But... This war... The only reason I stayed is because an Imperial officer recognized me. Called me by my old name. Said the Emperor's wrath is coming. He's sending his personal executioner for me. His wrath incarnate. I will be punished for my crimes. Who is the Emperor's wrath? A Sith Lord? A ghost. Older than anyone except the Emperor himself. Even the Dark Council fears him. Fighting would accelerate my return to the Dark Side. I'd rather die with Jedi teachings in my heart. I'm no counselor, but this guy's a few banthas short of a herd. He's not gonna be much help. Lieutenant Gundo, 86th Infantry. You're here just in time. We got Imperial forces massing outside. My engineers jury rigged some ray shields, but it'll take time to seal the base. Unless you people hold the main entrance, we're dead. Please. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I can't fight them. Whatever crimes you've committed, the Sith won't be punishing you for them. Stay hidden. I don't deserve such mercy. We're out of time. Imperials are coming through. Defend the main entrance. That's it! We did it! With the ray shields up, we can hold out until reinforcements get here. Hang on. We've got movement outside the ray shield. Who is that? What a mystery the Force can be. I came seeking a traitor, but found you instead. The time draws near. You're not making any sense. Do you know me, Sith? Many know your name. Some whisper it, others shout it. I alone recognize what it means. You're strong and touched by darkness. That is unexpected. An advantage? Possibly. You may keep the Dark Council traitor. I smell his weakness. 
He'll die by his own hand, given the chance. Sajar will receive the help he needs. A waste of your time and talents. He isn't worthy. The Emperor must hear of our meeting. I won't disappoint him with delays. Farewell for now. Is it freezing in here, or is that just my blood crystallizing? No offense, but that other Jedi's brought us nothing but bad luck. We might be better off if he'd left. The Emperor's wrath is gone. He isn't coming back for you. You saved this base, and me. I should be grateful. Nothing makes sense anymore. I don't know what to do. Republic reinforcements are coming. Once they arrive, you will turn yourself into the Jedi Council. They can help you. I brought shame to Master Braga. He had such hopes for me. Failure is an opportunity to make things right. Commit yourself to redemption. I don't know if I can walk that path, but I'll try. I will confess everything to the Council, and let them decide my fate. May the Force be with you. Master Braga, your Padawan and the Republic base are safe. The Imperials attacked, but I drove them off. Sajar is turning himself into the Jedi Council. He confessed to committing war crimes against Imperial prisoners. I can't believe it. Rest assured, Master Satya will question him personally. I trust you'll show the proper discretion until this matter has been fully investigated. The Emperor's personal executioner was hunting your Padawan. He seemed more interested in meeting me, though. I sent him away empty-handed, but he said we'd meet again. What do you know about this Emperor's Wrath? The Council has heard that title, but little more. I'm sure his interest in you is related to the Darth Anquil incident. Our strike team is pursuing a new goal on the ice planet Hoth. We're up against pirates and Imperials there. We need your help. Travel to Hoth and contact Jedi Knight Leha Norez. She'll explain more. May the Force be with you. Master Braga, out. Greetings. This is Bengal Moor. The Council permitted me to send you this message. I needed to say some things. I owe you a debt. No, more than that. I owe you my life. You saved me. When I think of the dark things I did here on Tython, I fell so far. My greatest regret is that I never apologized to Master Orgus before he died. He was a good teacher. I miss him. The Masters tell me I'm making excellent progress. My connection to the light side grows every day. I hope to repay the gift you've given me somehow. May the Force be with you. Gotta say, this is one comfy starship. Never saw anything this cushy on the Outer Rim. Those fringers use rocks for pillows. And medical care? <laughs> Forget it. Colto might as well be a myth. Tough work being a doctor outside the core. Healing the sick and wounded is difficult no matter where you are. Try doing surgery without anesthetic. It's even harder if the patient doesn't get any. I could have gone home, had a safe medical practice, and died of boredom. But I'm a man of action. You have any idea how many people have tried to kill me for bringing quality health care to their planets? In my experience, helping others is hazardous to your health. Luckily for my patients, I enjoy a challenge. The frontier worlds are crawling with pirates, gangsters, and tax collectors. But they're no match for old Doc. Not everyone needs a laser sword and mind tricks to get out of a tight spot. I don't need them either. They're just efficient. Me? I rely on superior intellect and natural charm. It works every time. If I were you, I wouldn't leave the ship without me. I need the Jedi Council's hollow frequency. Old Doc's gonna have a chat with your bosses. This code you people follow has you wrapped up tighter than the Emperor's shorts. It's not healthy. In my professional experience, enjoying life on a regular basis dramatically reduces your chances of falling to the dark side. Peace and contentment are the foundation of a good life. Everything else is only a distraction. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You have no idea what you're missing. 
glad I'm around to keep things lively. The ship would be way too serious without me. What's it say? If we have Imperial sympathizers inside the Republic, we need to know who they are. Time to pay House Bayless a visit. <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern here, T7. Funny trivia. That gang on Narshada I wiped out, the Arkasags, tried to recruit me away from the refugees. Said I'd be better off with them. They had credits, food, cute little clubhouse. All I'd have to do is kill a rival gangster. If you joined that gang, we probably wouldn't be here. Still the hardest choice I ever made. I'd been living in a cargo crate for years, eating leftover food from the promenade. Had the force and Sith training to use it. Could have been running that gang if I wanted. Instead, I did the right thing. Mostly. Violence is wrong, I get that. But my friends are safe because the other gangs are scared of ending up like the Urkasags. Ironic. You protected people you cared about. That's a good thing. Nice of you to say. Still don't know if what I did on Narshadal was right or wrong, but it was... necessary. Been doing some light reading lately. Amazing what's tucked away in the Jedi archives. Still hunting down exact details, but get this. The Council can grant Jedi the right to attach under certain circumstances. Heavily monitored, of course. Probably need a special license, but still. Interesting. Don't you get a little thrill from going behind the Council's back? Who doesn't? But I worry about tarnishing my perfect reputation. We wouldn't be the first, you know. I've even found records of Jedi who were married. Had children. Not that I'm suggesting we, you know, I, I, I like things the way they are. If there's any chance we could have the same happiness as normal people, don't you want to try? Never said I was opposed to making changes. Mm, eyes are tired. Too much reading. Need to relax. Meet me in my quarters in two minutes. Actually, sneaking around can be kind of fun. I'm suddenly motivated to find out more about the Council's special permission. Let you know when I do, tough guy. This is Jedi Knight Leha Nerez. Please identify. Master Tol Braga sent me to help you. I already received word of your success on Balmora. Glad you're here. As if Hoth wasn't hostile enough, I'm contending with the Empire and White Maw pirates of all things. I'm getting a lot of interference on this end. What's the problem? The planet's atmosphere plays havoc with calm frequencies. We're lucky to have any signal at all. Hoth's one of the largest starship graveyards in the galaxy. During the war, there was a massive battle in orbit. Dozens of vessels crashed to the surface. Because of the freezing cold, they remained well preserved. Some are almost intact. I imagine the White Maw came here to loot the remains. Several ships are Imperial, too. The Empire doesn't want the pirates or us getting to them. One of the crash vessels contained a full technical readout of the Emperor's fortress. A map of the bad guy's house. Nice. One of the Empire's top scientists during the war upgraded the fortress's defenses. He was the only non-Sith to ever see the inside. The technical readouts were lost when the scientists crashed here. His shipwreck has never been found. That's a surprising amount of top secret information. Republic SIS raided an Imperial intelligence base on Nar Shaddaa. This information was among dozens of classified data files they recovered. Those technical readouts are critical to infiltrating the Emperor's fortress. We will not fail. <laughs> I'm headed for the main Republic base. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet me there. Liha Nerez, out. Sorry I couldn't meet you. We've got a full-scale Imperial invasion on our hands. They caught us by surprise. How bad is it out there? Have you been injured? Don't worry about me. But we've taken hundreds of casualties since the attacks began. I'm defending a forward outpost. But our support team is pinned down closer to you. 
I'm sending the coordinates now. You're looking for a detachment from the 301st Infantry led by Sergeant Rusk. His squad is being overrun by Imperial probe droids. I'll find your friends. A few probe droids shouldn't pose much of a threat. These droids are set to rush targets and explode when they get close enough. I have to hand it to the Empire. When it comes to killing people, they're innovators. Sergeant Rusk has vital information we need. I'm counting on you to keep him and his men alive. May the Force be with you. Liha Nerez sent me. Looks like I got here just in time. No worries, Master Jedi. I was prepared to hold this position indefinitely. Sergeant Fiddleton Rusk, 301st Infantry. My squad's at your service. There's no more squad. We're all that's left. We're a squad until I say otherwise, Private. Now on your feet. Liha said you're working with us. How did you get trapped here? Our objective was to secure Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. Target achieved. Imperial counterattackers pursued us here. Squad fatalities, 66.4%. Enemy fatalities, 100%. Hang on. I'm picking up a fresh wave of probe droids outside. They're headed this way. The sergeant and I will handle this. Keep your head down. No loafing. You see a shot, take it. Yes, sir. Here they come! Enemy fatalities, 100%. You can come out now, Private. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank this Jedi for doing your job, soldier. Sergeant, evacuate your man to a medical facility. These are the Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. Liha Nerez wants to see them. I'll return to base and reconstitute my squad. We'll meet you at our coordinates ASAP. Stay sharp out there. This is General Callan Green, Republic High Command. I just arrived in orbit above Hoth. Quite a mess down there. I'm told you commandeered some men from the 301st Infantry for your classified operation. The Imperial Offensive left us in bad shape. We've been scratching your back. Now we need a favor. My mission is of utmost importance. Are you certain you need me? I wouldn't be calling personally if this wasn't an emergency. Scout teams detected several Imperial weapon platforms under construction in the ice fields near our base. If the enemy sets artillery that close, they can shoot down our shuttles. I need you to destroy those weapon platforms. Now. I'll move out immediately. Where am I going? You're receiving coordinates to the Imperial weapon platforms now. Good luck. General Grain out. Scouts report the Imperial artillery teams are retreating. Nice work. I have a feeling I'll need you again before this is over. Hope you're planning to stick around. If I can be of further assistance, don't hesitate to contact me. Glad to hear it. General Grain out. I have the Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. I understand Sergeant Rust's squad paid dearly for these. BD-1, please analyze the maps. Find any profile that matches a Pythar-class Imperial shuttlecraft. The Medes are pleased to meet you. They're great fans of yours. I didn't realize I'd become a droid celebrity. Everyone's famous to somebody. Ever since I built the Medes, I've been teaching them Jedi history, philosophy, everything. Someday, the Medes will prove that even droids can use the Force. If a droid became Force-sensitive, that would be extraordinary. The Council doesn't believe me, but I think it's already happened more than once. Throughout history, certain droids have achieved well beyond their design limitations. I believe the Force is the answer. Droids who go long enough without memory wipes develop personalities. Couldn't they develop more than that? I think you're jumping to conclusions, but good luck with your experiment. Even Master Braga is skeptical. But one day, the Medes will prove me right. You found something? Let me see. Hmm. The Empire recently discovered a crash site matching the scientist vessel. 
Imperial forces are excavating the wreck at an ice cavern nearby. We need to move fast, and we'll need reinforcements. Tell our backup he needs to pull that new squad together yesterday. I'll contact Sergeant Rusk and inform him of the situation. You and I will hit the enemy from two directions. I'll enter the cavern at these coordinates. You go in at this entrance. We'll meet in the middle. Don't worry, Meaty. The Force is with us. I'll see you at the cavern. Impatience got the better of me. I blundered in here like a Padawan. The heavy turrets were an unpleasant surprise. All those turrets, just for us? I'm touched. You were surrendering, Jedi. I suggest you keep that promise. Give us a moment, please. I need to explain the situation to my friend. I obviously missed a lot. Give me the short version. I sprung a trap. The end. Turns out, the Imperial in the Hollow is more interested in capturing than killing us. Keep him talking. Trust me. My patience is at an end. Lay down your weapons or my men will destroy you. Tell your men to disarm and let's talk. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. There will be no compromise. You will surrender or die. The soldiers you face are specially trained to kill Jedi, and they outnumber you. Not anymore, Imperial scum. They tricked us. Kill everyone! <laughs> Got here as soon as we could. Had to engage some Imperial patrols in our way, but nothing serious. Nothing serious? Privates Vanth and Edder don't know what day it is. We're lucky to all be alive. Shut it down, Private. I don't tolerate insubordination. All of you, please listen. I know you've been through a lot. I understand your frustration. But a good Jedi, a good soldier, puts emotions aside to do what's necessary. To say the fate of the galaxy depends on us is no exaggeration. We must hold together. Keep that up, the Republic might make you a general. Let's honor this Jedi by giving our all. This is the scientist's vessel. And look what I found hiding under a dead Imperial officer. The rest of your unit is dead, Imperial. Start talking, or you'll join them. Please, I don't know anything. I'm just a computer tech. We won't hurt you. But the more you help us, the more we can help you. When I said I didn't know anything, uh, uh, that wasn't completely true. My job was to slice the data banks of this old starship, but the White Moor beat us to them. They lifted the whole network. The pirates stole the ship's data banks? They took everything valuable, but they missed the computer decryption file. They can't read the data banks without this. I'll be taking that. The White Maw maintains a depot inside a crashed dreadnought. Everything they loot goes there. At least our objective is clear. The pirates secure their depot with ray shields. We'll have to find some way past them to reach those data banks. The Meaty scouted White Maw territory. They located two reactors buried beneath the ice. They're no doubt powering the ray shields. If we destroy the reactors, we can enter the pirate depot. Sergeant Rusk, head for these coordinates and destroy the reactor there. My friend will destroy the one at these coordinates. If your squad runs into trouble, contact me. Likewise, Master Jedi. I'll escort our prisoner to the Republic outpost near the Starship Graveyard. The Medes will perform reconnaissance on the Dreadnought. When both pirate reactors are destroyed, meet me at the outpost and we'll plan our assault. May the Force be with us. Hope this isn't a bad time, Master Jedi. We took out the other reactor. But General Grain just alerted me to a secondary objective. The White Maw has a series of munitions dumps here. Scouts report those weapons are headed for the Dreadnought. General Grain believes the pirates are reinforcing. He ordered me to hit those munitions dumps. 
Thought you might want to join in. You handle the pirates. I need to rendezvous with my fellow Jedi. Understood. I'll double time the men through this and meet you ASAP. Rusk out. A Jedi? Never killed one of your kind before. He sounds pleased. I'm not sure that's good. This should be interesting. The way behind me is clear. You're free to go. All I want is that reactor. Free to go? <laughs> good one. <laughs> it's nothing personal. We have to kill you. White Maw bosses don't forgive failure. Not in their natures. The Gendai got no regard for life, not even their own. Of course, it's easy for them. They're indestructible. All living things die. Not Gendai. The bosses can take anything. You'd see for yourself. If you wasn't about to get killed. Come on, boys. Let's keep the bosses happy. report the pirates' ray shields are down. Our goal is within reach. Any sign of Sergeant Rusk or his men? I expected them back by now. Some general ordered Rusk's men to hit the pirates' weapon supply depots. I hope the soldiers are all right. Between you and me, I think the sergeant pushes his men too hard. Sorry to keep you waiting. We sustained heavy losses achieving our objectives. Squad strength is 33.2%, but we'll make do. What's the next mission? I'm not going anywhere. Following you maniacs will just get me killed. My squad mates survived two years of fighting on Ord Mantell. One day serving you wiped us out. Saving the galaxy requires sacrifice. We're all expendable to the mission, soldier. The fatality rate in your squad seems high. Maybe we should exercise greater caution. Hesitation loses battles. So does insubordination. This private clearly needs medical attention. We can't send him back out like this. I'll find volunteers from this outpost to complete our mission and restore your squad to full strength. You're dismissed to the Med Center, Private. This is a full scan of the Dreadnought. The technical readouts are currently under minimal guard. Unfortunately, that area lies directly between two large forces. White My Pirates and Imperial Strike Teams. We can't let either side win. We'll have to defeat them both. I will secure the technical readouts if you and Sergeant Russ keep those forces occupied. Which enemy would you prefer to face? I'll be fine either way. How can we minimize casualties to your squad, Sergeant? The pirates lack discipline. They'll panic under pressure, make mistakes. That leaves you the Imperials. Let's hope their talk about being Jedi killers was false bravado. Here are the coordinates to intercept the enemy forces. Once you engage them, I'll retrieve the technical readouts. Sergeant, let's get you some reinforcements. Perhaps I should do the talking. If you insist, Master Jedi. Be careful facing the Imperials, my friend. May the Force be with us. I hoped you would come. Our prior meeting terminated unsatisfactorily. Surrender, and you will be treated well. Resist, and, well, you know the rest. My fellow Jedi is taking the technical readouts you came here for. Even if I die, you still lose. Stop it. You'll make him cry. Your friend will not leave this Dreadnought alive. I gave you a fair chance, and you refused it. Men, kill this Jedi. <laughs> I did it! I secured the technical readouts of the Emperor's Fortress. They contained schematics of its entire defense grid. Between this and the cloaking device prototype you recovered on Balmora, we have everything we need to capture the Emperor. This is a great day for the Jedi Order. Good work, Leha. Meet me at the main Republic base. 
We hunt our eyes out. It's a wonder all your men survive such an enemy. How did you defeat the Gendai? Superior tactics, and a dozen thermal detonators. If that Gendai's still alive, I guarantee it wishes it wasn't. You didn't make certain the Gendai were finished before you left? What if they come back? I'll use two dozen thermal detonators. Your service has been exemplary, Sergeant. You and your men brought the Republic a great victory. The heroes of Hoth. I finally get to meet you in person. General Grain, been a while. Hard to believe you and I started in the same squad. Still a ground pounder, huh? Wouldn't have it any other way. It's honest work, sir. After what he did here, he's earned a higher rank. The sergeant's happy where he is. But I do have a reward in mind. The 88th Armor Battalion is on its way. The 301st Infantry is being rotated back to Coruscant. I can't waste a soldier like Rusk on shore leave, so I'm assigning him to you. For how long, sir? Until the Sith Empire is defeated. The sergeant has served us well. We'll gladly take him. The transfer is effective immediately. Good luck. My shuttle is small. There's hardly enough room for myself and the Medes. Perhaps Sergeant Rust should travel with you. Be honored to. Look forward to learning from a superior warrior. Excellent. I will deliver these technical readouts to Master Braga. You should contact him as well. May the Force be with you, my friends. I'll requisition my gear and meet you at your ship. I still have business here. You should come with me. Aw, oh, gee. I was hoping to see more snow and ice. Maybe next time. I'll just have my gear delivered to your ship then. Lead on, Master Jedi. Master Braga, Liha Nerez is on her way with the technical readouts to the Emperor's Fortress. I knew you two would be unstoppable together. I look forward to working with her again. Your successes on Hoth and Balmora have been nothing short of extraordinary. Our plan to capture the Emperor is already taking shape. Come back to Tython, my friend. We'll discuss the particulars here. Master Braga out. Master Jedi, the defeat of the Sith Empire is easily the most ambitious mission I've ever been given. In fact, the odds of surviving a battle against the Emperor himself are almost zero. I'm looking forward to this more than any other assignment I have ever had. We're gonna need everything we've got to defeat the Emperor. Understood, Master Jedi. Victory or death. If I may say so, the Jedi Order's discipline, self-sacrifice, and devotion to duty are a model for all citizens. It will be an honor to serve with you. Ah, uh, life of a combat medic. Long hours, grueling work. Patients bleeding all over your nice clothes. I'm not complaining. Nothing beats the look of gratitude from someone whose life you just saved. But it gets distracting when beautiful patients fall in love with you. I mean, lots of ethical dilemmas, you know. How often do combat medics meet beautiful women? Why do you think I took the job? I figured Jedi have the same problem. You must have admirers lined up from one end of the galaxy to the other. I have billions of fans on Coruscant alone. Just imagine how popular we'll be after we knock the Sith Empire into a black hole. If I were you, I'd get some extra sleep now. You can get along without me for a bit, right? Need to pop over to Alderaan. Old friend of mine there got kidnapped by gangsters. They'll kill her if I don't deliver the spice they paid me for. How can you be so casual about this? Your friend is in terrible danger. Why worry? Old Doc's got everything under control. A couple of years back, I scammed this gang for a bulk load of credits. Spent everything to set up a refugee hospital on Alderaan. My friend is the head doctor there. Uh, I guess the gangsters finally figured out where all the money went. This is a matter for Alderaan's law enforcement. Not us. Way ahead of you. I'm going undercover for Republic Customs. Once I deliver the spice and free my friend, the good guys swoop in. Gangsters go to prison and my friend gets your hospital back. Whole plan's foolproof. Won't take any time at all. Watch your back, Doc. Someone's always building a better fool. Don't I know it. Those gangsters were smarter than I thought. But the Republic hostage negotiators talked him out of killing me. They were really something. Sounds like the expert on talking finally met his match. I was at a disadvantage. The gangsters really wanted me dead. Good news is, my old friend's fine, because they forgot all about her. 
We never got a chance to catch up, but, uh, hey, that's her on the hollow. Probably wants to say thanks. Hey, pretend you work for me, all right? You look terrific, Prudy. Have you lost weight? Love the new hairstyle. Two years without so much as a hollow, and that's all you can say. You abandoned me at our wedding. Doc, is this woman your wife? We're just good friends. She's a little confused, that's all. I thought you loved me. You said all those wonderful things on Ord Mantel. Broody, sweetheart, those were <laughs> sweet nothings. You should never take those at face value. My parents flew all the way from Corson for a wedding that never happened. You loathsome cat. I wish I'd never met you. Some people simply aren't destined for each other. Destiny has nothing to do with it. He's a coward. Look on the bright side, Prudy. You still have that hospital I bought you. The gangsters burned it to the ground. She still loves me. Ugh, those gangsters on Alderaan brought back some great memories. Oh, they used to call me Doc Operator back in the day. I was the go-to guy for everything medical. Trauma kits, surgical droids, hospitals, you name it, and I could get it. One time, this hut was hoarding med packs after a massive ground quake, selling them in an obscene markup. I tricked Mandalorians into attacking his palace. Inciting violence hardly seems like a useful response. How else was I going to liberate those med packs? I forged a death mark signed by the hut against the Mandalorian clan. They, uh, accidentally found it with a little help from yours truly. The Mandalorians attacked the Hut Palace in record time. By sheer coincidence, I was there to sweep in and clear out the Hut's med packs. You did this without either side realizing they'd been manipulated? It helped that they all killed each other. Sometimes things work out. Uh, thanks to an anonymous donor, every hospital in the disaster zone received supplies to treat their patients. Saved thousands of lives. That was small time compared to what we're doing. When we save the galaxy, I'm not staying anonymous. We have got to get off this ship and do something besides beat up bad guys. Don't get me wrong, that's important. But it wouldn't kill us to go out and socialize a bit. I know all the best clubs. I'll show you around, make some introductions. Never know who you might meet. It'll be fun. Lead the way, Doc. Where should we start? Everyone will tell you that Nar is the place to be. But that's just hype. Truth is, hut space is full of boring tourists. If you want real fun, you have to visit the private clubs. They're invitation only, no tourists allowed. Give old Doc some time to work his magic. I'll get us invited to the best club this side of Ord Mantel. Welcome back, friend. We've made astounding progress thanks to you. Analysis of the Hoth data has laid bare the entire defense grid of the Emperor's Fortress. There are weaknesses we can exploit. Even better, we understand how the cloaking device protects the fortress. We've just jury-rigged a scanner that sees through it. At last, the Emperor is within our reach. This is the beginning of the end for the Sith Empire. We'll be the dawn that breaks the night. Our vessels are being prepped for the journey to Droman Kaas. Long-range scanners will receive upgrades to detect the Emperor's fortress. We'll pilot our individual starships to land in different docking bays. Multiple targets will divide the enemy's defenses. Once we're inside the fortress, we'll each follow an assigned path through the security grid. We'll converge on the Emperor's throne room. We'll capture the Sith leader, bring him to Typhon, and redeem him to the light side of the Force. A perfect victory. The Emperor? Redeemed to the light side? Impossible. Have you forgotten what you achieved with Bengal Moore and Lord Praven? Defeating the Sith through violence accomplishes nothing. We must embrace them as our own. It is the key to a lasting peace that will save countless lives. Master Braga, we must speak before this plan goes any further. There are those among us who have raised... concerns. If anyone doubts our ability to do this, let them object. I'm sure we can dispel their doubts. I've always considered your plan reckless, Master Braga. Now your former team member comes to me with a disturbing vision you chose to ignore. Jomar, we discussed this. You should be in the Koto Baths. 
You still haven't recovered from your attack on Tatooine. It was during those healing meditations that I saw a vision of this Jedi. He was falling to the dark side, becoming a Sith. Nothing in this galaxy could make me join our enemies. You will fall, and others with you. I saw it. The future is forever in motion. Events that appear certain today are impossible tomorrow. Must I remind the Council that the Jedi do not pass judgments based solely on visions? If you take him on this mission, it will fail. I should go instead. The Emperor's Fortress is no place for a wounded Jedi. Better me than you! That will be enough. I fear emotions have clouded judgment. I've known this Jedi since he was Master Orgus's Padawan. He has saved lives across the galaxy. I do not doubt his loyalty. Jomar, Master Caden, I appreciate your concerns, but I do not share them. I see no reason to delay Master Braga's mission. If you're done questioning my loyalty, we have a galaxy to save. No, this is wrong! I know what I saw! Master Braga, I demand you reconsider. There's too much at stake here. The time for debates is over. The hour of our victory approaches. My friends, we depart for the Emperor's Fortress at once. We'll coordinate our assault once we're all inside. May the Force be with us. I've docked inside the Emperor's fortress. No sign of opposition. I mean as well. Perhaps we caught the Emperor napping. I took some cannon fire getting in, but my shields held up. The Medes detect enemy forces converging on my hangar. <sighs> Looks like I drew the short straw. Everyone disembark. Follow your routes to the objective. No surrender, no retreat. Remember the Fallen, and do not fail them. I'll see you in the throne room. May the Force protect us all. Master Bugger, out. I can feel him. He's waiting. He'd be laughing if he still knew how. Who's laughing? I don't hear anything. The Emperor isn't afraid. He's just quiet. Still. All he feels is... cold rage. The Sith believe hatred makes them strong, but that's a lie. It's a weakness. We don't understand what he is, what he can do. We shouldn't have come. This is a trap. The Emperor has no power over us if we stick together. Face your fear. I won't let him take me. Never again. <laughs> violate the Emperor's Sanctum. There is only one punishment. The Emperor's Wrath. You left empty-handed on Quesh. Prepare for another disappointment. Your friends did not survive. You fight alone. Not alone. The Force is with us. By my master's command, you must die. You are the Jedi's finest. It is not enough to save you. I'm here for your master. If you want to live, leave him to me. You haven't earned an audience with him. Be careful what you wish for. Surrender, Sith. You and your master cannot stand against all of us. Thank the Force. He told me you were all dead. 
Have faith, my friend. The Force is a powerful ally. The Emperor's reign ends today. Misdirected passion. Such a waste. My friends and I wish to speak with you. Please accompany us to Tython. An infantile display, Tol Braga. Reckless pride, limbed by self-righteousness. You are master of nothing. I don't remember introducing ourselves. You have no secrets from me. You stand there because I allow it. Because I do not fear. Him win. Free yourself. You're stronger than his influence. Fight. Master Orgus? What happened? The Emperor clouded your mind in darkness. Made you do terrible things. You've been the Emperor's pawn a long time. But you're finally free. I've been under his control for days? Weeks? Time has less meaning for me than you. Long enough. You're still aboard the Emperor's fortress. The enemy is everywhere, but they think you serve them. Keep your true nature secret. Find a way out. Your dark ally will help. I have a friend here. Can't wait to meet him. The Force is with you again. Be strong. Stop muttering to yourself, Acolyte. Today we test your ability to extract information from the enemy. Knowledge is power. Our enemies possess the secrets to their own annihilation. We must learn everything. I'm ready for my lesson. Please instruct me. One of the scum you arrived with awaits interrogation. You'll conduct it while I watch. Which particular bit of scum are you referring to? I came here with several. The Jedi girl. I understand she used to be one of us. 
Follow me. I'll instruct you in using the Tormentor device. I look forward to it. After you. Let's begin. It's a simple device. Three inducement settings, each inflicting greater pain on the subject. The Tormentor monitors the subject's vital signs, stopping just short of delivering lethal damage. Still quite agonizing, however. I know you're still in there. You're not one of them. If I beat him, you can too. Proceed with the lowest inducement setting. Get your subject focused. Bad news, Overseer. I don't work for the Emperor anymore. And neither do you. You're free. Are you all right? I'd kiss you if we weren't in the middle of Sith Central. This place is crawling with Sith who don't know you're back to normal, but you won't fool them forever. We need to leave. Quick. T7 and the others are still in the docking bay, locked in cages. We can free everyone and take back the ship. How many Sith are in the docking bay? A dozen, give or take. Never said this was going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> Step away from my ship. We're leaving. If I wished to fight, I would not have freed your crew. Or killed these guards. <laughs> More guards will come. Shall we go before they arrive? Our last duel was interrupted. This one won't be. Destroy me, and the galaxy dies. I could have killed you on Quesh, had I wanted. Did you never wonder why I hesitated? I have waited over 300 years to see the face that came to me in a vision. Your face. How can that possibly be true? I am much older than you think. Only a few beings have ever broken the Emperor's domination. You and that girl are special. We're running out of time. If you have a point, make it. Though the Emperor seeks to conceal his true plans, I have seen them. That vision has driven me to this. I pledge my loyalty to you. Take me to your Jedi Council on Tython, and I'll reveal why. We're not actually considering this. I mean, he's obviously full of awful. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm with Doc. This is a trap. I seek to save this galaxy from annihilation. Without my help, your ship will never escape. I can guide you to freedom. If I'm taking you to the Jedi homeworld, you'll be under guard at all times. Don't try anything. Your flattery is pointless. I do not seek your people's deaths. Only their cooperation. Security won't be an issue. He twitches wrong, he's dead. Time is a luxury we no longer possess. We must go now. I will navigate us through the defense grid. I thank you for your trust, Jedi. I might not have given mine so freely were our positions reversed. Tell me more about this vision. What makes someone like you bow to me? I will speak of my vision in detail to your council. Suffice it to say, I have long opposed my Lord Emperor. For a time, I worked with the greatest of your Jedi heroes, Revan and the Jedi Exile. But they did not have the strength to complete their task. That's quite a claim. You will find no proof. I hid my association with them well. Nonetheless, I was their ally in the shadows, helping them oppose my Lord Emperor. Until my vision. Jedi. Shining with the Force. Lined up to destroy him. All were swept aside. Revan and the Exile were cast at my feet. Then, out of the shadows, one Jedi emerged to cut the Emperor down. That Jedi wore your face. I hadn't even been born yet. I waited 300 years for your birth. When I saw your face on Quesh, in the vision, I bowed to you and took a crown from the Emperor's head. 
It ended when you held his power in your hands. It's been so long. We thought you were lost forever. The mission to seize the Emperor has failed. He's more powerful than we realized. Master Braga, Liha Nerez, and Warren Sidoru are still missing. The Emperor's wrath helped us escape. He betrayed his master to join our side. Sith serve no one but themselves. I altered my loyalties to avert a threat to myself and you. Jedi are not alone in seeing the future. Centuries ago, I had a vision of the Emperor destroying the galaxy. Republic, Empire, everything gone. This Jedi has the power to stop him. Extinguishing all life in every star system? No one could do that. He wields power no Jedi or Sith has dreamed of. The renewed war is merely a diversion to conceal the Emperor's designs. His true plans are already in motion across the galaxy. One by one, every star system will simply die. Trillions will perish. How does that benefit the Emperor? He'll feed on those deaths to become more powerful than all the Jedi and Sith combined. An immortal being of unlimited power. Once everyone's dead, who will he rule over? Domination holds no appeal to him. Only power. And this is not the sole galaxy in the universe. A thousand years ago, the Emperor tricked an entire Sith world into aiding a dark ritual. He promised great power. Only for himself, of course. The ritual consumed every living thing on the planet. He absorbed those life essences through the Force. He didn't kill all you people. Where did your empire come from? The true Sith occupied many worlds at the galaxy's edge. Losing one planet was hardly crippling. The Emperor has manipulated events for centuries towards one goal. Performing an even greater ritual that will destroy this galaxy. But the ritual requires a great sacrifice to begin. Billions of simultaneous deaths. He seeks to commit genocide on Belsavis. That prison world holds the worst filth captured by the Republic. Mass murderers, tyrants, even captured Sith Lords. We've kept the planet's location secret for decades, if the Emperor has found it. Once a sacrifice occurs, the Emperor's ritual cannot be stopped. We must save Belsavis. We? Your role in this is over, Sith. Put away your weapon, Master Caden. The Sith is cooperating. He'll come with me. I know the Emperor's ways. Belsavis is not the only world in danger. We must find the others, and I cannot help you from a prison cell. Like it or not, we need each other. He's right. I can feel the truth. Without his help, we are all dead. The Council will concentrate on locating other worlds at risk, and finding our missing friends. I'm counting on you to stop the Emperor's plans. I know this has been hard for you to accept. But it's our best hope. I promise I won't fail. Contact me when you reach Belsavis. And don't rely too closely on your ally. I'm disrupting the fabled Jedi calm. I suggest we depart.